Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Friday, August 22nd. Okay, before I get on to a full-on debunking of this entire theory of the West Coast being dead, or actually now in this latest video as you'll hear, or actually I may not play all of that because it's rather long video, 22 minutes long, but I'll leave a link down below so you can actually listen to this entire 22 minutes on your own and see how Dana Dunford, otherwise known as YouTuber, beautiful girl by Dana has now changed his tune. Yeah, he's not whistling the same tune as he was just a little while back. But uh, before we get into that full on debunking, let's listen to the latest garbage here. What's being promoted by who else? Jeff Rents. Hang on tight. If you don't know anything about Jeff Rents and his corruption, how they all tie in, let's see how this goes. Dana Dernford and Terry Daniels, who are my guests for the first two hours tonight. I had met with a gentleman today who lives in the the Seattle area. In fact, he lives right below the uh, Juan de Fuca Strait. Okay, now this is important because I've been making these videos here the last little while telling you all that I actually live right here in Victoria, city of Victoria, right on that very edge there. And I've been saying how because of the flow of water that comes in and out here, that if his whole theory that the radiation would have come up this whole strait here and inundated the entire west coast and killed everything, I'd know about it because I live right here on the west coast. Everyone would be talking about it. There's a big herring, herring run that takes place right up a little creek here. Um, that there's no talk about that if you go watch my videos I've made here in the last couple of days. And I'm pointing this out because there's many of you that are new to this. If you go to YouTuber Connecting Dots 2, exactly as it's written right there, you go uh, scroll down below here on my channel, okay? My, my channel looks like this, but if you scroll down below to an area where it's written Uploads, you'll see here I've uploaded a few videos starting roughly a week ago. Go watch this one here. This is filmed right here in Victoria. You'll see lots of sea life and that's important because the claims that are about to be said here in the next few seconds are outright lies and I'll prove it once more with another footage taken from again this exact same area. Which brings tremendous amounts of water in and then out again. It's one of those like Bay of Fundy tides and I told them about Dana and Terry's video and he said well that's real funny because I live on a, a bay I'm not going to mention the name of it it's in the Seattle area it's right below the Straits of Juan de Fuca and he said I used to walk out at low tide and I was mind blown at the beauty and the diversity of the tide pools I loved it he said I went out about a year year and a half ago he said there's nothing left it's all gone absolutely false that's why I want you to go take a look at this video here I just pointed out over my YouTube channel because you'll see the sea life I've caught right here in our little harbor but let's continue on here because yeah it's just more and more I said friend you better look at the video you'll understand why there's nothing left and why the starfish all up and down the west coast have been wiped out virtually all of them Again, if you uh, pay attention to my last videos, I've showed I've gotten <laughs> starfish right here in our little harbor, again in this video, and again uh, tonight I'll present some more footage here that shows you this was taken just six months ago, a whole lot of starfish right here in Vancouver Island where apparently it's all wiped out. And by the way, this whole starfish disease wasn't the first time, folks. I, I'd rather you do some research instead of believing the hocus pocus baloney that's being presented to you, okay? We've had a starfish problem years back, and I'm talking going back at least eight years ago, if I'm not mistaken. It's happened in multitude of places at multitude of different years. Do your research, and people say, well, this one's the worst ever. Whatever, it may have spread a little bit more, but it's not the end of the world, and it's definitely not radioactive, or else all of the other marine life would have died also. Okay? We're going to disprove this crap. People have reported to me, in fact, this gentleman told me today, he said, I, I saw a starfish leg crawling along by itself about two years ago. Oh, two years ago. That's when it happened. It's, it's time that we either wake up or stick our heads further in the sand or in one of those other places people commonly talk about and just go to sleep. There are things you can do to protect yourself. There is nothing you can do to force Fukushima to go back into its box. It's out. The genie is out of the bottle. The genie of death. The grim reaper of death is here. Fear Cancer rates in Tokyo among children are skyrocketing. 
up 14 times over normal. That's in Japan. They've already had increased infant death mortality here along the West Coast. That's when it first happened in 2011. Lots of people are getting cancer now that will not be connected to inhaling radioactive hot particles. Oh, look, here's the fear mongering. That hundreds of thousands or millions of people were doing and they picked within the, cats, the first three of weeks of the disaster. Because everyone has cats. Watch your cats As go, the radiation folks. crossed the Pacific quickly on the winds, not even the jet stream. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. One final preface before I introduce Dana and Terry. The Karashio current comes down and meets another current coming up from the south off the east coast of Japan, right in the area of Fukushima Daiichi. Those two currents meld together and head across the Pacific to the east. They're called the North Pacific Current at that time. Pull up a map of ocean currents in the Pacific Ocean and read. They come across the ocean at about 10 knots. Meanwhile, the rest of the ocean around the plant for three and a half years has slowly been contaminated, like you put cream in coffee. Stir it up, see what happens. Hold on a second. The amount of cream that you put in your coffee has nothing to do with the amount of water that may have been coming out of that nuclear plant in Japan, which happens to have the most radioactive shores anywhere else. We haven't found high radiation like he's claiming. He's lying about that one also. That's the Pacific Ocean. The current itself was first over here. It brought the radioactivity over, slamming in and around Vancouver Island. Oh, yeah? And sucked in and around the island by the Straits of Juan de Fuca. And okay, this is where we're ending this show. I mean, this part of the show. I'll leave a link down below if you want to listen to the rest of his, whole, his hocus pocus. So as it was sucked in around this whole Vancouver Island, which I pointed out is exactly where I live here in Victoria. Okay, here's the Strait of Juan de Fuca, where he was just showing you a few minutes ago. And the following video here was taking a deep cove right near where the ferry launch is to go over to Vancouver. A very busy area again. Not even a prime location, but yeah, she went underwater with her... GoPro 3 and remember this footage folks because this is what I'm about to do with my camera and hopefully those of you who want the truth are going to want to help me out as I go disprove that he's a liar right in his very hometown and as well as the sh Sunshine Coast where he's saying there's no life and all the flies on the Sunshine Coast would fit in a fly and then all the seaweed and all the algae would fit in the back of one pickup truck all absolutely false claims. I'm going to go out there. It won't even take me 60 days. I'll be, out, I'll be back in five days with unbelievable footage. As, as I said, this is a deep cove here, Vancouver Island. This is just taken recently here. I'll scroll down below so you can see what's written there. She posted this February 1st, 2014 on it with her GoPro for the first time here. Sandwich, there's the starfish, they're not gone, and please don't tell me they're all put there so she can make this video. There's no conspiracy here back in February 1st, 2014. This girl, Dive with Maya, has, goes all over the place diving. This is just another one of those regular videos that she makes. Okay, so let's move along here. And this whole thing that he says about these mystery deaths, he doesn't do any reporting. I'm sick and tired of this Jeff Rents. It's another thing that he mentions in that past video there that I'll be linking down below. No, they don't talk about this. They won't talk, tell you that the, the mystery deaths, while well, the starfish have died off many times in past years, the exact same problem where their arms are falling off and they're melting down. The exact same scenario. Nowhere different than the disease that just hit here two years ago. And same thing with the fish here. We had a die off and that's why in the past videos I showed how the fisheries is actually doing very well here. Okay, so it's up to you folks if you want to really get into this. But as I mentioned here, I got a contact here with this fellow here who's going to hook me up with a boat and let's go dig in for some truth. Now as far as this Jeff Rents, you know, I've been talking about I've been doing the, the truth movement for a long time. I ran into Jeff Rents back in 2009 when I was uh, debunking the swine flu. I had been given a heads up by two uh, military officers, Canadian military officers, that the whole swine flu pandemic was a man-made, orchestrated um, flu, which many of you now have, have figured this out. And they're warning me not to take the uh, vaccines. Um, actually, they're more specifically warning about. I have a beautiful little. I have a beautiful little girl, and her mother works at where they're working and uh, yeah basically they kind of warned her listen we don't want your kids getting any of these vaccines please don't 
we're warning you, blah, 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 blah. And oddly enough, it's exactly what I had said to her. I think it was roughly about six months earlier here when I was doing this uh, conspiracy research. I'd found out that the Illuminati were going to crash the stock market in six months uh, later in September 2008. So I spilled the beans with her, everything I'd found out. And sure enough here, yes, he's definitely hooked up. And this Dr. Neiman runs this Ryza Lab. So in 2009, this is where I joined because I figured, well, people are joining here. And there's a lot of people, a lot of activity. So I started starting up. I started some threads to inform people while well, they started this special section called the conspiracy theory, <laughs> conspiracy theories just for me. So I posted some information. I know some of you have already said that, seen this, but I'm leaving the links down below in case some of you are new to this whole vaccine thing. And yeah, they banned me in the end, as per usual, you know. And you go go read what I say, you know. I don't swear. I've always posted information. You'll hear people making up all kinds of lies about me. But if you do some research on me, you'll find out I have a long history online here. So Dr. For Chris Shaw here, a neuroscientist from University of British Columbia, had s shown that, that yes, uh, there was no neurological brain damage when you took these vaccines. Uh, he now has a double peer review. When I actually posted this, this was a single peer reviewed research at the time. And there's Dr. Neiman, as you can see here he, he on he's on the lab everyone on this uh, forum is actually doctors and yeah internet babble widespread utter nonsense so it, there's no doubt about it here like I said two peer review you can find this stuff all the links are down below where it says show more and if you don't believe in conspiracies read what this doctor said herself again you guys are right you'll find it down below in the show more tab read this stuff or hit the space bar read it yourself there's definitely a death program here so I add all these stories at my website, connectingdots1.com. One of the things I've been following is Fukushima since day one. Many of you know I went across Canada doing a cross Canada radiation tour when this all took place. I'm going to debunk this whole story that the radiation on the West Coast has killed everything simply by using common sense. Here's the common sense. The shores of Japan are the most highly radioactive shores right now in the world. Anywhere in the world, they're the most highly radioactive. Everything, the plutonium, all that stuff that they're fearing the crap out of you with, there's more of it there. It's a soup of it right there. I don't care if the Kiro show is bringing it over here. Most of it has been found there, and the proof has been found in the fish, in the sea life. The stories first came out here August 20. Uh, 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 August 22nd, 2012. Okay, I've posted this stuff here because I've been following this very attentively using common sense as I call what's taking place. So all of this sea fish is contaminated and that's what this whole thread was all about. I was saying, folks, what are they doing having to, uh, the Olympics there? Everything's contaminated. The food, everything, you know, like get the heck out of there. What are they going to serve them seafood? So the original maps, regardless of the color here, which Jeff Rents is telling you it's coming straight over in a straight line. We've seen so many dispersion maps. The fact is we don't have any ra highly radioactive fish found anywhere on this co west coast, but we do have lots of marine life here. I've been collecting it all, and even down to the wild game, the river fish, it's all there, okay? This one here is from uh, 20 f June 25th, 2014. Now, right before that, here, another story started back in January 2013, record high Fukushima fish. I mean, I'm not making up this stuff. The links are down below. They're all on my, on my forum. I've been tracking this very attentively. So the point is the fish over there are getting highly radioactive. No stories of all dead sea life. No, none of that. And then even there, it got further, even more highly radioactive just a month later where they have levels 5,000 times over the government limit. That's right. They caught fish. 5,000 times above the limit. So if we know we have all this radiation that's constantly coming at us out of that plant, then you'd suspect that all of the f marine life on Japan's coast would be wiped out and absolutely killed. We're not hearing that. Don't buy into it. Use some common sense, okay? Get educated. And this young woman, Claire Stanhope, I hope you go take your time and listen to her video. She lives on the West Coast. She's been here for 26 years. She understands biology. She's done her homework. It's up to you to get educated and pass this video as well as the links down below so everyone can know the truth. Again, if you go back to my website, you may recall yesterday I made a video uh, showing how the incident in Powell River was wrong here, that Dana lied about the incident. This gentleman has offered me his boat so I could go up there for free and tour around and prove that there's life. Powell River is exactly where he's saying here on the Sunshine Coast, okay, this exact same area. I got a GoPro camera. I'm ready to go. Okay, I just need the plastic case. I want to buy it. I'm looking for some help here. I won't have it on my diver's masks because I'm not going diving. I'm just going to go after 
after the sea life that's right near the shoreline at low tide. I will rent a kayak. I'll rent a speedboat. That way there I can hit more beaches. I need some funding. Are you willing to pay for some truth or you want some lies? He wants $5,000 a week. I'll do it less than $1,000. Because I did a radiation tour, I've already got the Geiger counter. I've got two of them, in fact. The links are down below. The radiation monitoring tour, it's the same tour, same guy. Connecting dots one, connecting dots two, connecting dots three, folks. They've terminated connecting dots one. I'm on YouTube, connecting dots two, and connecting dots three. I hope you help out for the truth. Thank you.